In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a double data label, one that shows the value of the bar, but also one that represents the percentage value of this value here. And of course, if I refresh, you can see the animation will nicely move along with the bar. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our border template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to have the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So first, what we're going to do here is to make it a horizontal bar chart. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to say X. And then we're going to say here the index axis will be the y. So we swap the x with the y, which we have a comma here. Refresh, there we are. The next thing what I need is space here because we need to put a label outside and inside at the same time. So for the outside label, I need to say here, comma, and then uh, we want to have basically here an extension. So there's some space here. So that is on the X scale, what we can say here, comma, say grace, and we can just say maybe 10 points. So basically what will happen is we have now about 10 points on the scale of space. You can do it with, you can reduce it maybe five for a small item, but you can just play around with it what you want. Once we've got this, we have now space to put in the value here of number 18 and the percentage there. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say comma here and I'm going to create our new plugin and this plugin will call the double labels plugin. Copy that. Then I'm going to say a constant double labels. Let me say here the um, double labels. All right, then like that. Then the ID will be equal to double labels. And I would say here after the data sets has been drawn, we will draw the text and this is important because it needs to be on top of the bar not behind the bar so it's a chart arcs and plugin options then i'm going to say a constant and i'm going to say here i want to have the ctx and we might need the data we'll just put it in there just to be sure so once we have this what i want to do now is start to work on creating or drawing the item so i say ctx.save to save all variables above and then what I want to do here is using the built-in functionality from chart.js. Say chart.getDataSetMeta index zero. We only assume that there's only one uh, data set. So, this, so that's the only data set that we have. Data, and then we're going to do a for each loop. What this does is to loop to every data point in data set index zero. So basically all of these. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say here a data point, a shorthand, and then we have here the index function arrow expression, and I put it in here. So the first thing what I want to do is I want to have the text on top here. And let me just remove the tooltip, it's blocking. Comma, we say plugins, let's say here tooltip, and I say here enable false. Save that. So once I enable this, set this on false. All right, now we have no more distraction. So what I want to do is put the numbers in here. So let's see where we were. So then what I want to do here then is the following. First of all, I'm going to say your ctx dot font to describe what's the font size. In this case, I'll just do 12 pixels. Let's make this bold as well. Let's close that one. And then we have here the sun serif. And that is the default font size. Once we have this, the next thing what I want to do here is the color. So I say ctx.fill style, and I'll make this black just by default. But of course, you can do any color you want. Once we have that, we're going to put in the text. So I say ctx.fill text, and the fill text will have whatever the label is. And then we have here as well the x and y coordinates. Because we are inside the data met, the get data set meta, which is a function of chart.js, we can use the coordinates quickly by using this data point dot x and data point dot y. This was this will just immediately get the data point at the very center here. So then for the label, well, let's save this and just see what we get. 
there we are as you can see here we are getting it but it starts exactly here so let's play around with that uh, first of all let's get the value of it which we can get the data so from the data put in here and the data is basically this object here and then go to data sets and then we're going to go to the data again so the dot data set zero dot data and then the index that we just get from here save refresh all right we're getting the values let's move it more to the left so to do that i'm going to say here ctx.txt align and i'll set this to the right side meaning ignore everything from the right and push it to the left there you are let's move this a little bit more further to the left by saying on the x a negative six pixels so we're moving it six pixels further i think that looks quite nice we could just do one more thing just to be sure we're going to say a ctx.txt baseline and set this to middle if ever it is not fully centered on horizontal and vertical level and i think it is so that is fine the next one is putting here the value so to do this i need to first calculate the total sum of this data point or data set here from there on we can just calculate the percentage value based on whatever our value is divided by the total sum so let's start to make the total sum so i'm going to say here constant total sum and the total sum will be based on data dot data sets index zero dot data and then we're going to use the reduce method the reduce method will calculate this so we say here whatever is the sum value at the moment plus every time the current value and the current value to be specific would be every one of these one by one adding it up to the very sum value once we did this then what i want to do here is uh let's see we'll be needing there yes then a function error expression there we are like that i was getting distracted and then what i'm going to say here i'm going to say we do this by returning the sum plus the current value and as a starter what i want to do here comma say zero is the starting point once i did this i should get here the value let's do a console log put in there refresh and then we get here 69 is that correct that should be correct this is 30 and then we have um, 18 and then another one here that's, that's 30 as well so that's 60 and then here 9 69 that is correct so what i want to do now is then use that value we have here put in a new one so what i'm going to do here well, let's say constant percentage and our percentage will be basically all of this divide by total sum multiply by 100 once we did that we can now start to do our text alignment since we want to be on the outside we're going to say not right side but left side so basically the left will be all ignored and push it further more to the right so we say here left and then we're going to say here maybe for the font i'm just going to get it a different font size let's say 15 and for the color i want to get the color of the bar specifically the border so to do that i'm just going to say here data and basically i'm just going to use the same structure here but then one exception instead of data here say your border color index and that is just basically we're going here to the border color index and you can get any color background color whatever you want once we done that we're going to say here ctx dot fill text and then what i want to do here is getting the value so again here we're getting the label the x and y so what i'm going to do is just going to copy this and i will instead of minus or negative six we're going to say plus six so we move this further away from the bar this here needs to be calculated so we can say here the percentage but i will say here back tick back tick 
dollar sign percentage. I'm going to put it in there and then I want to have a percentage symbol. If I save this, refresh, we get here a nice value, but I don't like all these additional. So let's round that up or round that down, or let's say, let's reduce the amount of dots or values behind the, the, the dot. And then we're going to say here, da, uh, to fix. I would say here, I want only one decimal instead of hundreds of them or 20. So let's save that, refresh. That looks much, much better. And there we are. Now we have this. Let's double check if everything works. Let's say here, this will be 36. So everything should be half in that case. And this one should be increased. There we are, or something like that. I'm not even sure if that's correct, but that should be. We can cross test this one, 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 and one. Let's see what's going on here. All should be equal. Absolutely phenomenal. And that's it.